My name is Cassie Redmeyer, and I'm the Fund Development Associate down at Sturgeon City. As the Fund Development Associate, my job is to let the community know about what Sturgeon City does and to acquire funds so that we can continue our operations providing hands-on environmental education programs for children. At Sturgeon City, we have a variety of programs from preschool all the way up to high school. For the preschool children, we have a little learner's program. We actually take the touch tank out and uh, let the preschoolers learn about the flounder while they're touching them. It's a wonderful tactile learning device. And then we also have a variety of field trips uh, at Sturgeon City for all the way from kindergarten up to 12th graders. And they correlate with the standard course of study for North Carolina. So we try to make science and math fun by doing hands-on activities, both outside and inside in a lab setting and also learning from the natural environment down at Sturgeon City with regard to the wetlands and teaching them about the environmental restoration of the site. I am not a native of Jacksonville, but I come from a military community um, in southern Alabama. So I have a connection to Jacksonville and the type of struggles and obstacles and opportunities that a community like this offers, especially with water access. So it's a, it's a home away from home. As a military spouse, this is my first time being stationed in Jacksonville. Actually, this is the first time being stationed at a really big base. Um, I've been stationed, well, my husband and I have been stationed in Korea, in the mountains of California, and in the deserts of Arizona. So this is a really different environment than what we were used to, but it's also wonderful. One of the unique things about Jacksonville is that the military community and the civilian community are very integrated here, whereas in other places that I have lived, it's very isolated. The military are in their little spot and the community outside is doing their own thing. But here in Jacksonville, it's all one and the same. Sturgeon City has been in operation for 15 years. As a matter of fact, we're celebrating the 15th year anniversary of the Sturgeon City Institutes in June. And that's going to be a wonderful celebration and there should be many, many alumni coming back to just see that it's still going on and to hopefully communicate with the current Sturgeon City Institute students about their experiences. The Sturgeon City Institutes are a summer program for high school students and there's several different areas where a student can come and learn. There's a media institute, there's a science institute, there's also a young leadership institute for rising freshmen that teach them about, they te it teaches them about public communication and public speaking, being able to introduce yourself to leaders in the community. They get access to a lot of community leaders so that they have that confidence going forward because that's what we're trying to do at, at Sturgeon City. We're trying to grow our own leaders. The Sturgeon City Institutes happen uh, the last two weeks in June. Students can find out more about the Sturgeon City Institutes by going to www.sturgeoncity.org and they can download an application. Now that's a nomination form, space is limited, so they have to submit their application and then they're vetted. But hopefully we're going to have enough space for everybody that wants to go, but it is a very selective process. Sturgeon City brings a lot of experience with regard to the Wilson Bay Initiative and experiences that we've had with that within the community to the New River Roundtable and how community involvement can really impact um, the New River Roundtable goals. So we bring a lot of that experience and how to get the community really involved in certain initiatives. Um, Sturgeon City is embarking on a very exciting project. It's actually the third phase of our development because we have restored the wetlands, we have brought life back to Wilson Bay, and now we're ready to build a 13,000 square foot facility to better um, accomplish the needs for our programming with bringing students down to the site and also to provide a venue for the community to hold other types of events. It's going to be a 13,000 square foot facility. It's going to have 7,000 square feet of meeting space with the capacity of over 400. 
So this is going to be a great asset for the community of Jacksonville, but it's also going to be a wonderful thing for Sturgeon City because we're going to be able to serve more students. The New River Roundtable is a group of environmental stewards within the community that come together to try to create a strategic plan for what we're going to be doing in the community as far as environmental stewardship, environmental action. We don't work independently, we work together to try to accomplish goals. What I want to see accomplished with the New River Roundtable is I want us to be able to come together and do things collaboratively. And I really hope that Sturgeon City can be that hub, that meeting place where they all feel very inclusive and they feel like they can come and bring their ideas and bring their experiences and that we can start from there. If I had to describe the new river in one word, it would be revitalization. It really is a new river. It has been completely restored. It's beautiful. There's life back in it. And when I say life, I'm not just talking about fish. I'm talking about people. It's just, it's revitalized.